Hi, Schlagmeister fans. Olivia Pascal's feature film debut. Who? It's Vanessa. Let's watch. We're in a convent and the girls are reading a dirty book. <laughs> to whom does that book belong? It's one of Vanessa's collection. It is not. It's a beast. It's a present I gave her. Our convent has rules forbidding any student to have a book like that in this school. Vanessa, you are the girl in my dream. Vanessa gets word that her uncle passed away. I received a cable with some very bad news, I'm afraid. Your last relative, your father's brother, has just died. You're without anyone. Uncle Richard? A thorough search has shown that there are no other relatives. So Vanessa, Olivia Pascal, travels to Hong Kong to see what she's inherited. You have very beautiful taxis in Hong Kong. They're for very beautiful ladies. Thank you. Is this part of town one of the poor districts? Jackie Bruder, I'm the youngest of Uncle Anthony's stock and nieces, but the closest to him, so you can tell me all your secrets. She meets her cousin I know Jackie. Entire story, you know? <laughs> You've inherited the whole kitten caboodle that your Uncle Richard owned, and that's plenty. Well, these two and completely you know, undress the nest and to give her a bath. out of the convent of Hong Kong. A chain of bordellas. Bordellos for gentlemen and for ladies. We haven't gotten to this. guy Adrian wants to contest the will. Who? The overseer of the plantation has contested the will. Adrian? Uh, he's protesting on grounds that he's your uncle's illegitimate son, and he claims the plantation should rightfully go to him. Well, so Vanessa bad. has inherited a plantation as well as a string of bordellos. This is a shower of rice coming down. These two are going to make love under a shower of rice. possible to advance Vanessa a little bit of money. For what reason? Tomorrow I want to take her on a shopping spree. All right, but pay cash. Don't charge it against her in hurry. That's her Aunt Kay. What I said Here she meets this Swami-type guy. Vanessa Anden. Yes, I believe we've already met. By telepathy, no doubt. The prince is a great magician, and you met in some other world when you were a lowly citizen. In fact, I was a taxi driver at the time. Oh, just the charlatan. There he goes again. Trying to captivate young ladies with magic or pretending to do so. He's taking a boat ride on a junk. What is that? What? That house with the Chinese characters on the roof. It's a house that will belong to you in the near future. And are you one of the, uh, of the clients that is... I mean, uh... You shouldn't ever expect a band to reply frankly to anything so personal. <laughs> Although that particular one, I can say, I've never gone in. It's one of the bordellos for women only. So naturally, Vanessa wants to go visit the place and see what's up. Women of all ages apparently go to this brothel to watch other people screw. Interesting candles they have here. She's not impressed with the place. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. It's a horrible place. They're all sick. What possessed you to go in there? That's ridiculous. What do you expect of me, for God's sake? Richard and my mother had an illegitimate child, and I'm that child. The plantation belongs to me, and the proof is in Richard's letters. Yes, only unfortunately he didn't notarize them, which means anyone could have written them. This so is Adrian who thinks he deserves inherits. the plantation. What is mine? Just like that? I... Enjoying yourself? It's a strange city, marvelous and frightening at the same time. Adrian meets Vanessa. Good day, I'm Vanessa Anden. Good day, Adrian de Jong. It's very kind of you to ask me to drive out, but I feel I've arrived at a bad time. Oh, no, on the contrary. It's far from the city, and I feel honored by your visit. Tiny! Really he shows her the plantation. Yes, very large. Far too large for anybody who knows nothing about farming and all it involves. How much does the farm bring in? Nothing for anybody who's incapable of running. What do you mean by that? Hmm. 
So what does Adrian we can do? We share the farm together if we share them. Share what? He basically tries to rape her. No! Let go of me! No! Oh, relax, Vanessa. I won't hurt you. I can't show you all of this. No, get away! Interrupting. Oh, excuse me for intruding on you like this, but you won't believe it, although I assure you it's absolutely true. I left my riding crop here accidentally. Purely accidentally. Of course. And without it. I'm only half a man. Will you? Tiny. Adrian's woman, Tiny. She's a little jealous. Have you gone mad? What made you do that? I hate the European. But she hasn't done anything to you. She take Adrian from me. Look, the European girl's a pain, but I have to have her help. No, you not want help. That's nonsense. All I want is for her to admit the farm is my legacy. You Tanae tries to get rid of Come Vanessa. Let's get some sleep. <laughs> Vanessa, what's wrong? Hey. <laughs> Tanae takes a lock of Vanessa's hair. Puts it on this baby doll and stabs it. It's like a voodoo thing. Doesn't do anything more though. Jackie asked Vanessa if any lesbian stuff ever occurred at the convent, and then it did. And then she tells her a story, and we see that story played out. And she asked if there was any sort of whipping, like S and M stuff that went on there. There was. And we see this played out too. Can't show you all of this. Take off her panties. I'm not sure if this is a dream sequence or what, but inexplicably the woman who was helping take down her panties so she could get whipped steps in and they start making out. I can show you very little of this, but Jackie and Vanessa turn it up a notch. It's time to dance. Swami guy from earlier who looks like Eddie Albert a little bit. If you're attempting to hypnotize us, I think I should warn you that no one has ever succeeded in me. He is able to hypnotize Vanessa into thinking they're having sex with each other. And then we see the scene played out. Monkey brains. Now, you can taste it. Monkey brain a la Cooper. No. Come on, try it. No, I'd be sick. You like it. He then shows uh, Vanessa these arm and leg irons, which she basically willingly walks into. It's very into. strange, but in women it's instinctive to want to suffer pain. It increases their pleasure. I know you like it. Ah! Ah! He's gonna rip off her clothes, too. Have you gone crazy? After a few lashes, Adrian comes to the rescue. Kay. Kay, come back to me. Vanessa's come to a decision. I'm returning to Europe. Been most educational, but I'm tired. I'd like for you to stay on as my manager. I feel better knowing you were here. And that's exactly what she does. Our last scene is her flying you home. The girl in my Vanessa, you haunting all my reverie. All right, let's talk about Vanessa with Olivia Pascal. This is an old cable movie that appeared back in the '80s. Um, they had a lot of these types of movies, The Joy of Flying, Island of a Thousand Delights, that sort of thing. These foreign, um, foreign titty movies is what they are. Wild and Beautiful on Ibiza was another one. Um, Gerhard Hines is the, he did a lot of the songs for all, a lot of these movies. Uh, there's a lot of overlap if you've watched a lot of these movies, unfortunately, like, like I have. Um, you get to recognize some of these songs. Some of them are pretty good. I actually have a guy 
who uh, gave me a CD of Gerhard Hines featuring a lot of this music on it, which is pretty cool, actually. She's 19 and ready. There's another one for you. Anyway, this movie here uh, was released, I think, a year or so ago by Severin. So um, I actually have a pre-recorded VHS of this movie. Um, other, before that, though, it hadn't been released on DVD, so thank you, Severin, for putting this out there. The copy looks beautiful. There's a couple of extras, too, including an interview with the director, Hubert Frank, as well as the director of photography. Um, I think he's uh, like 86 years old now or something like that. Anyway, the movie is basically kind of like a knockoff of Emmanuel. It came out a couple years after Emmanuel and they just wanted to continue the story kind of, so the Germans decided to make one too and this is it. Stars a 20 year old Olivia Pascal in her feature film debut as Vanessa. She's a woman in a convent or a girl I guess you could say, 18 years old maybe, I don't know but she finds out that her uncle died. He lived in Hong Kong and he had a string of bordellos. So she goes to Hong Kong to basically inherit this place she also inherits this uh, rice plantation or some sort of plantation, I don't know along the way she just finds all kinds of debauchery and by debauchery I mean lots of sexual activity, uh, girl girl, male girl, just all kinds of Debauchery, obviously, with some bordellos, there's going to be that sort of thing going on too. There's S and M stuff going on in here. Uh, there's a thinly veiled plot with this guy Adrian who runs the farm. He thinks he should inherit the place. He's going to contest the will. Blah blah blah. In the end, though, Vanessa decides she's going to go back to Europe and she's going to let the uh, Adrian stay here. She's basically going to hire him as the general manager for his her plantation, and that's it. So there you go. Anyway, uh, this movie features a ton of nudity. There's a lot in this, even for a movie like this. Um, I don't know if it would be considered erotic. I guess that's what they were trying to go for in the, in, in the Emmanuel vein there. But um, nonetheless, there's a lot of nudity. There's a lot of uh, very, um, uh, it's not pornography, but there's some risque stuff here. There's some there's some vagina lips, put it that way. There's a couple times where we see that. Uh, Olivia Pascal, a lovely young lady, she went on to do... A few more movies like this. I think she was in Island of a Thousand Delights. Uh, I think she was in Joy of Flying also. Uh, I know she was in that for sure. She did a movie called Bloody Moon, a horror movie, a few years later. And uh, she's still acting today. I think she does a lot of German television work now. So she's still around doing her thing. So anyway, but this is her first thing. And if you want to see her naked, this is the way to go. In fact, on the box here it says, A Skin Classic. That's a quote from Mr. Skin himself. So anyway, check out Vanessa. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below if you've seen this thing. And uh, let's talk about it. Vanessa, watch it. Bye.